Hey guys, welcome back. It's Beta. Today we're going to take a look at a set of headphones that were sent to me by Osdom. They're the M06 headphones. They're Bluetooth and they're promising a really long lasting battery and a really good experience for listening to music, especially dance and EDM type of music. So before any more delays, let's check it out. So we're going to start off first by looking at the actual packaging that comes in here with our headset and we're going to look at it as far as the con uh, content that comes with it. The main thing on the box you'll notice it says it's hands-free, deep bass, high sensitivity and stereo wireless. Uh, this is just focusing on the fact that this, these headphones will have really good music listening. If you're listening to rock music, uh, music that have a lot of bass and a lot of repetitive uh, like lows and mids in the actual sound. The other thing, obviously, this is the M06. We get a small manual explaining to us how to actually sync the actual device to multiple units. Um, the main thing that you have to remember, it really, it's offset by the power button here on the left ear cover. The next thing we have is an audio jack, male-to-male, uh, -male, enabling us to use these headphones as regular headsets, and it's actually plugged into the left ear as well. And this is obviously in case, let's say, the battery dies and you still want to use your headphones, or you're connected to a device that does not have Bluetooth. The last thing we have here is a micro USB to USB cable enabling us to charge and this charge actually on the right side which is on the right ear cup and oh, let's go ahead and open up this one here it is and this kind of uh, gives us the ability of charging the 400 milliamp battery that's built into this device we're being promised somewhere between or up to at least 250 hours of standby time and up to 20 hours of listening time or listening and talking time since we do have a microphone on this unit Anyways, let's go ahead and focus on the actual device. We'll switch over to that. Now we're looking at the actual Osdom uh, headphones themselves. Uh, this is the M06 model again. The build is pretty sturdy. The actual swivel action is very nice and there's enough force feedback here that it actually kind of slows it down. Uh, you have the ability of conf you know, configuring the headphones to your liking. These are over the ear. Uh, well, let's go ahead and turn them on real quick. Uh, the first thing you'll notice obviously is the material that's on the device, uh, on the ear cups is similar to the one that's on top. We have a little bit of cushioning on the top to give you that nice weightless feeling of the uh, headphones. I've uh, wear them for about an hour and a half at the most in one session and I uh, honestly feel like they're almost not there. That's one of the main benefits of them. And then you get the soft cushioning fake leather a uh, little bit here and then some more additional cushioning here between your ear and the actual speaker. Uh, the last thing obviously as I mentioned is you're able to rotate them, configure them straight. You can even go further a little bit if you want to adjust. If you're trying to use them as uh, monitoring headphones, they do configure in that configuration so you're able to go this way and listen to music. Uh, the other thing you want to keep in mind is that they are uh, basically set to be Bluetooth connected. So they by default will always work as a Bluetooth headphone. So we'll go ahead and switch them over over on this side and we're going to start looking at the actual configuration or the controls that we get. We have our microphone, which is basically pasted with that behind this grill right here. We have an NED indicator here that tells us when the actual unit is either on or being charged. Uh, the other thing is uh, we have the power button, which enables us to turn on the device, volume down, volume plus, quick tip. The uh, power button in Android also triggers Google Now if you have that installed on your device. On the other one, we have the charging port, which is covered. We talked about that one. Skip back, play, pause, pay, pause, and then skip forward track. And if you notice here that all the configurations or all the control buttons are not shared, so you don't have your volume and your skip tracking shared on this unit. So you get very nice controls, very easy to use, and again, very simple. And the last but not least, before we forget, hidden right here on the, kind of in the back, is the ability to plug in our headphone jacks so that we can use them as regular headphones. Again, in case you need to use them as that or with a device that does or does not have Bluetooth. So you guys could see with the hands-on that the actual units themselves look very nice. They're sleek, they're basically generally just one color all around, and you also just have a little bit of an accent with the Osdom name on the side. Other than that, it's very nice and they'll blend to anything. They kind of work very well. Uh, you're able to adjust them a little bit more. That was one thing I wasn't, I think I don't have a chance to show you that. You can adjust them a little bit on the right and left here again, and the cups do rotate and they do have a really nice set. Uh, once you have them on, they almost feel like they're weightless. And I say that because of the well-balanced uh, arch that you get on the unit itself. Uh, the over-the-ear experience kind of covers right around the ear, so it gives it kind of like that, offsets the pressure. And then the cushioning on the top kind of does the same thing. And what you do is you almost feel like after a while you don't have them on. And it's really well-built, uh, it's sturdy, it's really nice. Even though you're getting plastic, but again, keep in mind that you're, you know, at the price point that you're getting these headphones, it's really, really nice. This has been my main uh, listening experience. So I've been using these on everything from my uh, Android devices to my Mac to my PC. Uh, just anything that can basically provide me with music experience, I've been using these headphones with it. 
Uh, I was able to actually use this where I had left my device in my, uh, in my house, in the beginning of the house, and then I walked all the way to the other side. Uh, it was a clear line of sight, and I was still able to get good, very good music. It does use Bluetooth 3.0. It's not Bluetooth 4.0 LE, so please be aware that it could potentially have some uh, impact to your battery. But again, it's much better than the original 2.1 or 2.0 as far as Bluetooth. So you, you are getting some battery savings, just it's not 4.0 LE. Uh, the battery built into this is a 400 milliamp battery, uh, promising up to, up to 250 hours worth of standby time. I can attest to the fact that the standby time on this is just fantastic. I don't have the ability of testing a 250 hour standby time about, other than just letting it sit there. Uh, the other thing I want to make sure is obviously is the 20 hour claim. Now, overall, I've been able to get between 12 to 13 hours worth of listening music. And I say this with a big caveat. Uh, the battery life on a device, especially Bluetooth devices, is generally, generally controlled by the volume level or the amount of sound that you're pumping out of it. The more work it has to do, the battery will drain faster. So that's where I am. I like to listen to my music at a somewhat of a high volume. We're somewhere between 60 to 75 percent, and depending on the type of music, if it's an anthem, I, it may even go higher than that for me. Uh, but overall, it's really about enjoying and listening to the music the way I want to listen to it. Uh, and I was able to get between 12 to 13 hours overall. It doesn't mean that you can't get longer if you go somewhere around the 50% volume level, and that's something that you want to basically keep in mind. But again, 12 to 13 hours of you know, usage out of a Bluetooth headphone, it's more than enough for a long flight, um, a cross-country flight, or even in, you know, if you're going over the Atlantic or the Pacific, works very well. Uh, and I think definitely these will be with me next time I travel on any trip. Uh, so definitely appreciate it there. Uh, as far as, uh, again, sound quality, very nice, low bass. Uh, as far as the mids and lows, you're going to get very good experience. Uh, I watch a few movies with it. Uh, I also watch, listen to a lot of uh, classical music. Overall, it performs very, very well. Uh, it depends on, again, what you're getting. You're looking at a $50 to $60 headphone, so please set your expectations accordingly. Do not expect you know, 200 to 300 type of headphones or anything to that effect. Uh, but I think if you listen to dance music, you will not be disappointed with this, uh, or at least Tans type music, uh, EDM, or things like that. Uh, so last but not least, I'm gonna go with the pros and cons. Pros, price point, definitely. Uh, sound experience, great. Uh, fit and comfort, beautiful. Uh, and uh, you also have the ability of using them as non-Bluetooth headset if you do need to, uh, need to use them that way. Again, definitely a plus, very covered. Now, the con list is not exactly a very bad thing, but I wanna make sure to cover things that I would have liked to see in here. I would have liked to see a, ca a carrying case, even though they do stack sideways very nicely when you turn the uh, cups around, and they do fit very nicely in any most backpacks. I would have appreciated something to make sure maybe keep them carry so they can stay dust free. Because at this point, sooner or later, this is going to start picking up a lot of dust. And it's going to be something that you're going to notice. Uh, the next thing I want to mention is sound leakage. And I'll show you guys a little bit of video real quick right now. Two different experiences. Uh, the first one I think is at 75% volume. The second one is at 50% volume. And you can see where the leakage comes in as far as the music. So you can see with the sound leakages that you do have the ability of listening to the song when you're at a very high volume. Now again, that's not a typical usage. If you're on the bus or you're in school or somewhere you're listening to your music, 50% early is not going to be that much to annoy other people. But at the 75, they're like practically listening to your song and you, you know, depending on your comfort level. And usually I don't go to 75 unless I have to. Uh, so the main thing you want to make sure to be aware of them obviously is the sound isolation is not the best. Uh, it does leak and uh, that's something that you want to be aware of as far as sound but it didn't really bother me as far as in my case use uh, it was very nice very easy to use and very simple to just basically put them on and enjoy them for hours so before i forget i want to make sure to thank uh, osdom for sending me these headphones to review they're very well built the battery is very very nice the standby is amazing and the performance even between 12 to 13 hours is really really nice uh, as time goes on, maybe the usage will go higher as the volume kind of goes down. I'll post a feedback or a follow-up video of this later on uh, in a month, probably. The main thing I want to make sure to kind of give you guys a heads up is uh, if you've used these things in the past, the M05, I'd be interested to hear your experience in the comments below. I know the M06 is the latest offering and it uses Bluetooth 3.0. Uh, but again, the sound quality is amazing. So as usual, like and subscribe to this channel. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And please keep an eye out on the channel. There may be a giveaway coming up very, very soon. I will see you guys soon.